Hello everyone. Uh, the purpose of the video today is to introduce the Humet valve, which is a new valve we're going to begin using for water supply operations. Uh, the purpose of the valve, or the why, is really to give us expandability with our water supply operations. You can think about this in the same way we think about ICS. Uh, we, start the, we utilize this system when the incident is small, and then ICS gives us expandability as the incident grows and requires that. Uh, same thing with water supply. The way we currently operate, really our water supply operations are set up for our bread and butter residential type operations. Uh, typically this is an operation that requires a, a fire flow of 150 to, to maybe at most 300 gallons per minute. Uh, the mission of the fire district is uh, protecting life and property. Uh, and when we think about the people we have uh, promised to protect and the buildings we've uh, promised to protect, the biggest life hazard we have are our apartment buildings. The biggest property loss uh, that we have to protect are our commercial buildings. Uh, these are buildings that, uh, that may require a fire flow as little as uh, 150 gallons per minute, uh, but that can expand up to needs of 3,000 gallons a minute or more. Uh, with our uh, historic uh, forward lay wet operations, uh, this really doesn't provide expandability as the fire flow needs on the incident increase. So that, that's the biggest benefit is, uh, with this humid valve is to allow us to easily expand from the lower flow needs uh, to the higher flow needs uh, in, in these uh, critical uh, buildings to protect. The video will cover the new forward lay wet operation uh, and how to take a hydrant as part of that operation. We will not be showing the preferred reverse lay operation uh, because the taking the hydrant component is going to be identical in both operations. The only difference is going to be in the forward lay wet operation, it's the firefighter that takes the hydrant. In the reverse lay operation, we're driving away from the fire scene with the second do engine and it's the apparatus operator that will be taking the hydrant. Okay, so now let's take a look at engine 309 and we'll, they'll walk us through a couple of the different evolutions and show us how to accomplish these tasks. Out to the side, a little like this. Oh, you're trying to make me look like the mission, man. I got it. Oh, no, I see it. Yeah, I see it now, Matt. <laughs> I'm Tim Clackamas Fire. Uh, this is engine 309. We are r and ding a Humat valve. It's basically going to replace the way we traditionally take hydrants. Uh, let's go take a look. Okay, so as you pull the valve out, uh, the red port is where your ley line is going to be attached to, and that's going to go to the fire. Uh, the threaded portion, this just threads onto the steamer port, so there's no need for adapters. You pop the cap and you simply thread this onto the steamer port. The other two valves uh, are going to be used to boost the pressure. Basically water is going to come out this valve by exercising this lever. That's going to go to the pumper, and you're going to pump back into the blue line, which is going to boost the pressure the attack bumper. But we'll show you how to do that in evolutions. Okay, another thing that's different is uh, how we're going to mount the LDH. So rather than uh, the tail being up on the bed with the strap, it's going to be mounted uh, on this low profile quarter turn mount on the step. So a firefighter is going to come around, it's going to be mounted right here. Uh, you're just going to grab it, it's just a quarter turn, and that pops off plugs right into your uh, red port, which is gonna go to the fire. So LDH comes off the bracket, plugs into the red port, you grab the Humat valve in the bag and you can take a hydrant. So we'll show you how to do that. Okay, we're gonna do a simple lay in wet evolution. So Brandon's going to remove the LDH, plug it right into the red port, and once that's plugged in, he's done with it. He doesn't have to think about where he needs to plug it in after he puts it on the hydrant. So, grabbing the bag and the valve. Uh, since we don't have a strap anymore, he's going to wrap a portion of the hydrant. Carolina EMR, 
so we're gonna take two ports, uh, just like we always have. So he's taking the two and a half in the steamer. There's only one way this could go on. The threaded uh, port of the humat valve goes on the steamer port. So Brandon, uh, by wrapping the hydrant, not only does it secure the, the hose, uh, but it also gives you a tail. So if the AO uh, gets to his objective and he wants three or four or five more feet, uh, if he takes that from you, you're not gonna have enough, but if you give yourself a tail, you'll have, you'll have hose to work with. All right, when Brandon charges the hydrant, it's just gonna free flow through that valve. There's no valve that controls this port. Uh, it's just he simply turns on the hydrant and it charges it. Okay, so that's that's forward lay wet. It's a pretty simple process. And we'll show you the next evolution. We will also have a new procedure for staging an engine on the hydrant. On a forward lay operation, this is typically going to be the third or fourth due engine. On a reverse lay operation, this will be the second due engine. Okay, so standard practice is going to be parking a pumper at the hydrant. You can actually shut it down, uh, but if uh, we need an increase in GPM uh, command, they ask us to do that, we're going to have that ability. So let's go do it. All right, so we got the second pumper here. Uh, we're gonna be receiving water from here and boosting the pressure here. And we're gonna show you how to do that. Okay, we've been told to boost hydrant pressure, so I'm gonna put my pump in gear, pull my tank to pump, uh, grab my pony, and take it with me to the other side. I'm gonna do it this way just to alleviate the back and forth. So I'm gonna do this first. open up this valve and this is gonna get water flowing to my Jaffrey. So we're gonna basically do a hydrant change over here. I got water flowing to my intake. I'm gonna open up my Jaffrey, close my tank to pump, and it's just like a normal changeover. Under the Jaffrey. Now we're going to uh, open up the LDH discharge. Everything is connected on that end. And then we're going to set the uh, pressure to accommodate our water supply needs, whatever that may be. All right, so that's it. Uh, that's the Humat valve. Uh, you just take the steamer port and at a later time if you need to boost the pressure you can do that without shutting down the system so that's that's kind of the benefit of, of the humat valve so this is a new appliance for all of us uh, we're currently r and ding it at station 9 on engine 309 uh, there will be a full rollout with a full rollout video and training coming at a later date uh, at this point in time again we want to emphasize uh, the importance of accomplishing the hookup and charging the initial line quickly to get the water supply established. Uh, this allows us to, to, again, get the water supply established and if it needs to be expanded in terms of volume, uh, we're able to do that without shutting down the hydrant and changing our hookups and changing the way we're interacting with the hydrant.
Instagram, and that's what I have on that. <laughs>